Good morning to all you great people here on YouTube. I am Torstein from Cinema Terror, and today I'm doing a request from a friend of mine by revisiting a film that I didn't care all that much about the first time I saw it. So Stian, here you have it. Here is my review of the 1981 horror film Dawn of the Mummy. <laughs> The story of Dawn of the Mummy takes place in Egypt, where a group of American fashion people has set their sight to do a fancy photo shoot. While they are enjoying the different and exotic landscape, some tomb raiders are trying to find a priceless treasure in a nearby tomb. They do not find any valuables though, but they do uncover the mummified body of the pharaoh Safirman. The two groups cross paths, and when the fashion people see that they have an open tomb available, they make the smart decision of setting up a photoshoot inside of it, right next to the ancient mummy. The hot lights start to melt and revive the mummy, and before you know it, Safir Man rises again, together with his undead zombie followers. Dawn of the Mummy is quite the oddity of a movie. It is an American production, filmed in Egypt, with a crew of mostly Italians. By its title, you would assume that this would be a mummy film, but it really plays out more like an era trashy zombie film. It's produced right after the success of George Romero's Dawn of the Dead and Lucio Fulci's Zombie, and you can feel their influence, especially Zombie, on Dawn of the Mummy. Some of that has to do with the gore effects being done by Marizzo Terani, who also served up some awesome special effects for Lucio Fulci's mentioned Zombie and also the house by the cemetery. The mummy looked awesome, and more scary looking than the average mummy. He is actually interesting, but they failed to take advantage of that and do more stuff with him, except have him pop up to murder off people. These effects are the highlight of the film, and it is too bad that the DVD copy that I have of it is so dark and murky. That also hurts the otherwise unique setting in Egypt, to be honest. I found most of the camera work to be bland and uninspired. <laughs> The music provided by Shuki Levy isn't all that bad though, and stands out as one of the better aspects of the film. Levy sounded familiar to me, and it was not because of his acclaimed music work on big TV shows like The Power Rangers and stuff like that. Instead, I recognized him because I recently saw and reviewed his directorial debut Perfect Victims from 1988. Director and co-screenwriter for this film is the Egyptian-born filmmaker Frank Agrama. His previous film before this was none other than the schlocky Queen Kong from 1976. I can't honestly say that I'm impressed by his work here, as there are so many errors in the film and it comes off so poorly put together. There is no energy or intended atmosphere to be found. It's hard to take the plot of the film serious, as the storytelling is also rather poor. I couldn't get engaged in anything that was going on, and never got invested in any of the characters. The film feels slow, even if it's only 93 minutes long and I constantly catch my thoughts wandering away to other things than the movie when I was watching it. The full on mummy and zombie attack is at the very end, and I really wish they had started that way earlier. From what I understand, Dawn of the Mummy is still waiting to get a good transfer over to DVD or Blu-ray. Anchor Bay released it on DVD over 10 years ago, and even if I won't be stopping whatever I am doing to order a new shiny Blu-ray of the film, I'm sure there are others out there that appreciate the film enough to want to see it in better quality than what is currently available. Dawn of the Mummy is not a good film, but it does have some charm to it that makes it occasionally fun to watch. I can see some enjoying this in a guilty pleasure type of way, but I'm not going to give this film a recommendation. If you are a super fanatic Euro horror fan, then sure, there are some chances you will enjoy it. But there are so many other better movies to be found before you need to get to this one. Dawn of the Mummy only gets a 2 out of 5. While my friend enjoys this film, I did not. So the question is, have you seen Dawn of the Mummy, and what do you think of it? If you want to make a request for a movie that I should review, then there is an option to become a patron of mine on the link in the description below. Or you can just throw out suggestions in the comment section below, totally for free. I will leave a link to my watch list on Letterboxd in the description box as well. There you can see films that I'm considering doing, 
so if any of those stand out to you, then let me know. Hope you enjoyed this review of Dawn of the Mummy, and please do come back for more horror movie reviews in the future here on Cinema Thyroid. Thank you.